In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the Nintendo Direct. And yes, I am very late to this. Uh, I love having work. I have been spoiled on a couple scenes. One of them is literally on my screen because it's the next recommended theme for the Direct. But I won't spoil anything yet just in case you guys haven't seen anything. But if you do go to enjoy this video, uh, please do give a like. Maybe subscribe. Uh, follow me on my socials, on Twitter, on, on Neoflow. Uh, if you guys don't know what Neoflow is, uh, it's really cool. And also, uh, yesterday was my birthday. I finally said something publicly. So, um, if you want, don't, you don't need to do anything. All I, like, it would mean the world to me if all you said was literally just happy birthday. That, that, that's, that's enough. But with that all out the way, um... Enjoy, enjoy the video. Wow, wow! All right, gamers, let's let's watch Nintendo. See, I've seen a couple of things, um, because obviously Twitter and whatnot. Let me let me turn it up. Splatoon DLC. Okay, okay. God, my headphones are loud. Okay. What the fuck is that? What is <laughs> pearl? What? It looks like a pearl robot. I'm confused. What the hell is going on? Come. Green? Per oh, it is Pearl, okay. So this goes into the lore behind the Octolines, I'm pretty sure. Music kinda Oh shit this music God damn Oh mama <laughs> I just peeked my microphone <laughs> But I could care less Side order yet Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be. <laughs> the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy. You what? just saw a new trailer for Wave Two of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over I can't tell if those chops are purposeful or if it's just bugging out on me. Okay. That's a good start. Good start, good start. Good start. <laughs> okay, I kind of knew about this one just because of leaks. And everyone's like, no, no new Donkey Kong game. The Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, oh, so wait, it's, it's actually, it's not the minis. Oh, wait, actually, actually Mario puzzle game. Good. Okay, good. Thank God. Oh, my God, I would have been so mad. You have no idea. Oh, man. That's good. Oh, man. I'm messing with my audio right now, by the way, so. Now he can get across. And safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. 
Oh, hell yeah. Super Mario. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated <laughs> version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. That's kind of cool. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. <laughs> Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo okay. Switch on February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Not that Wii bad, Shop. not that bad. Save the prince. What? The <laughs> what? Ha, huh, excuse me. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. You know what this Tapping is giving me of the Prince of Persia series. This game this features two like, side scrolling oddly giving me dash through breathtaking environments. You guys ever play the uh inspired world? But don't DS Assassin's long Creed long games? I don't know why this is reminding me of that. Techniques. As well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malkath. When Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown, pretty, pretty cool looking, honestly. Yeah, that looks January pretty cool. 18. You can receive the in game Warrior Within outfit by pre ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. Pre order game, pre order. Wah wah. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade <laughs> racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals on the road. Why does play the main campaign to unlock vehicles? Why does it look so odd? Like it looks you good. You can also upgrade also, your vehicle sure. and style yeah, it to fun. fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? I'm getting like PS2 vibes. Oh, look at the. <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh my God! Oh no. He looks cool. I just wasn't expecting the PS2 graphics. I don't know. It looks cool though. Musical mayhem in this rhythm based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. I like me some rhythm games. I feel like that's pretty obvious. Including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Super Switch Crazy Rhythm Castle. It's a fucking <laughs> crazy name, bro. Ah! Anya Forger has a new assignment from school creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class. Then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum, in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? Uh, and what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Uh, Spy Anya Operation <laughs> Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> Mario's first Woo! adventure returns. The Super Mario oh, it looks so good. Game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over oh, some look new at it. It looks so good. <laughs> oh, no. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. Hell yeah. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Oh, hey, that's cool. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three-character triple move. Okay. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bomb. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But That's these cool. powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Damn. What? 
I haven't even ever played this game. Well, I have. I've tried. I could not do it. Usually, I'm like, uh, Depth of Field doesn't get to me. That gets to me. Look alive. We're almost there. I don't like these the noises. Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. You could totally jump over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. I don't I really, really fucking hate these noises. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. <laughs> a mysterious boy. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is Lake Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when Another Code Recollection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. Another code recollection includes two games: the Nintendo DS game Trace. Whoa, Mario, really? And its sequel, which was never released in North America. Whoa, Both really? Are fully it's almost like on Nintendo you Switch. just said that. Ah, <laughs> <forward to playing, laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, I'll take a look at this. Oh, that's the Peach game, right? Yeah, I did see like a little One bit. Day. A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The Wicked Grape and the Sour The Wicked Grape? Grand entrance and took the Wicked Grape? What now, do you fucking mean? It's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. The wicked grape. Some of the these names are fucking crazy. I'm unplugging my headphones. You probably heard that. I don't care. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa, Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. Oh my god. <laughs> fantastic show stopping abilities. Fend off the sword stopper Peach. Sword play. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding all this Peach so funny. It's not that funny. And its performers? <laughs> there are more stolen shows to save. Well, I would assume. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate clues, and track down who done it. Okay. Fucking bird. From this sweets festival, turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. Oh yeah. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it Kung back Fu from these Peach. foul beings. Holy shit. <laughs> Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is the set. Curtain. That's a new Our Peach new voice, right? Ready for the spotlight. Some people Peach, were talking about that. Is it just Mario, or is it in Luigi, or other today, characters also Wii getting Shop. changed? And that sounded a little different. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. 
In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on... Latest adventure, pretty much her only one, because she hasn't had a fucking game since the fucking DS. I just got flash banged. Huh. A new saga begins. Oh, I read that as Sega. I'm like, Sega series, isn't it? A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose I, from. I don't care, I'm sorry. A young man <laughs> fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. Okay. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Oh, I love saying. Then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds so you just have in your hands. Seven the choices you make stories? can unlock different paths more than ever There's before games, seen in the I mean. saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles. Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions. Or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches yeah. on Nintendo Switch Square next Unix. year. Eh, not very interested. <laughs> not at like not at all. Interested. Legendary Raider oh my god, that screenshot. <laughs> the first three Tomb Raider games yeah. all with upgraded visuals. No. No. <laughs> no. As no, the it's the fucking Rob Fortnite model. It's not the exact one, but it looks like it. No. Climb, backflip, <laughs> Why not just like fully remaster it? Or... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. It looks this so faithfully off. remastered trilogy comes with all the expansions <laughs> and secret levels for each game. You can also uh, toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any that's time. That's good. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Today on if I play that, I'm going to play it in the OG graphics. God damn. This detective got a second oh. brilliance. <laughs> Pikachu just hate himself. <laughs> Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu. It's not literally every city in the Pokemon Tim. world. Investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow Sense with Growlithe. Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. So Luxray has X-ray vision? What? Solve all the mysteries and find you too. Pew, 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 pew. Find out when ah! Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch ah. October 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Okay. This game's a real <laughs> toot. This game's been out for months. What? Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Was it not on Switch before? Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to adjust that looks the pitch awful. up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres from classical to electronica and everything in between plus up to four musicians can band together 
trombone champ slides onto the <laughs> today. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, I love it. Your way to victory. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> uh. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Okay. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove him off the collapsing terrain to win. This Choose does look pretty cool, heroes, actually. Each inspired by a different mythology. Work with okay. your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first Oof. for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A next close spring. beta test will be available this October. That's look kind of cool. your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to <laughs> vanquishing the land's most <laughs> Before battle, equip your mercenaries <laughs> with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. That's kind of cool. Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Later oh, it's all today. timed. It's not. Oh, later today. Okay. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved yeah, NES Contra. classic okay. Contra. Blast through explosive stages okay. with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush okay, the okay. Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Wake I do think Contra looks pretty weapons. cool. I played a little bit of like Enemies. the original um powerful super attacks. But and never anything really since but yeah. Ooh, it's a little choppy. Galuga <laughs> Ooh. storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. I mean truly it doesn't really matter. As long as it's fun. Right? Liberate That's what matters. Reclaim your destiny. Okay. Is a grievous tale which speaks of everything. Okay. One of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince. Oh, wah wah. I was looking, I was like, oh, this, this is looking cool. And then they show gameplay. Wah wah. Nah, I do not care anymore. <laughs> My entire, like. Think like thought of oh this is kind of cool. Yet the answer is all went now. away. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it, I will, mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies, forge your bonds, and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over sixty unique characters. From humans and elves to massive beasts Oof. and heavenly Oof, angels. girl, oh no. Oh no! The mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months. These filled staves. That actually sounds well, kind of good. I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth okay. of tactical fantasy RPGs. Okay. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th. What are with these game names? <laughs> yes! Okay. It's just an HD port. I can tell because that mailbox does not look the best, but I don't care. Oh, shit. it. Luigi's Mansion 2. They're just calling it Luigi's Mansion 2. Yes! They're to just calling it a two! A oh my god, that's crazy. With the supernatural. I'm actually like... Luigi, our faint of heart oh, hero, that's great. Here to check it out. Oh my god, it looks so good. Mansion mayhem. Oh my god, I'm so no excited. Spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device. The Poltergust. Ah. <laughs> Use it to light up ah. dark areas. Vacuum up objects. And interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! Yep. You can stun them with yeah. the strobe ball. Then vacuum them up. 
I mean, three's already been on the system. I don't know why we're we're going through this because this is how you do it in three as well. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting a former plant research lab. Yeah. Oh my God. A mine covered in ice. And even the, the more king? places. They showed the little King Boo history. That's These cool. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Oh my god, I'm Can so Luigi happy about this. Can courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. Exercise. That's funny. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. They better not cut off the servers for three when this comes out. I'll be very sad. Okay, next summer. Was that? What next, got? we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Big gunk on my screen. Galaxy music? Is a giant question mark block? Toy time galaxy? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. This is cool. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. I like how I'm gonna ever be able to go there. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming amiibo figures. These Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. An amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th. Let's, have we gotten Xenoblade Amiibo? I don't remember. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, oh, Sora. Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. That's With cool. The release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate so, in Amiibo Notification form. on my... Please look forward to its release next year. That's cool. I, I'm... I still need to get the banjo one, but I I think I'll get that one. Next, just because that's cool. This. <clears throat> Is this the big one that I got leaked for me and I would have been really excited? Nope. But that's still pretty cool. I like me some F-Zero, actually. Are we getting a new F-Zero game? Returns as a 99-player battle royale. Yeah, another 99 game. Okay. F-Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Oh my god. <laughs> but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Okay, this seems Feeling pretty cool. risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. Okay. It's kind of cool. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Okay. That's cool. This, is, this looks cool. While you're racing to unlock cosmetic options oh, for your machine. Hell yeah. This is actually really cool. It might not be a, a new F Zero game like fully, but players, one winner. It still looks really cool. To first place. Because F Zero ninety nine will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online okay, members yeah. later today. Nice. I might play that actually after I get done More recording this. Years after its original release, F Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively to Switch Online members. That thing that came out like we five years ago. Try Whoa. And aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. Okay. 
one little hero, one <laughs> humongous problem. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings land. called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. <laughs> Fucking way they Vandal move is so stupid. What mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, okay. launches on Nintendo Switch. I thought next they year. looked familiar, of course, it's because they're from fucking League of Legends. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, what? Nunu and Willem, on a journey across oh, the frozen wilds of the Freljord. League of Legends, I love League of Legends. I love, I love, I love League of Legends. Beautiful yet treacherous land. Where every I mean, I like me a good 3D platformer, solved, so I mean, bring hey. Closer to the truth about these friends Holy shit, he's grooving out. Their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system. League of Legends is doing so much more to, like, on Nintendo eShop. spread out. It's kind of crazy. Into formation. Okay. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah! You are your voice. A little, a little odd. Welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. In each micro game, oh, you get to a specific pose called a form. Oh, Mario, shake it. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand mark. The micro games will come one after another. They're actually the using the fucking IR sensor after six fucking years. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Oh. Man, okay. Reach the goal without getting caught by the <laughs> <Medusa>. stupid frog. <laughs> or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes of plenty. Okay. Everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare moves. Oh, WarioWare is so weird. <laughs> Pre-orders yeah. are available now nice. on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the Empire, and Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, so known interested? as the headquarters. No, it hasn't. As allies right. join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to <coughs> see the crops, open shops, <coughs> and <coughs> Each hero you encounter has their own backstory uh. and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may oh, strengthen fuck. the bonds between yeah, your yeah, heroes. I'm tired. Uh. Betrayal, justice, and truth. This style is getting A so overdone. When Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo It's cool. Switch, I like the PSR mix with the 3D environment. But it's getting so overdone, it's all used for the same exact type of game! Ugh. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors. And restore buildings robot. to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Looks, looks a, little, a little cool. 
get back into the groove. <laughs> In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, Aww. including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Okay, that's that's War pretty Group cool. Marches on to Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Okay. begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night and the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. See now this this is how you do the fish you've caught a pixel art in 3D environment. It's unique! It's a fishing game and a cooking game. Now this is something I'm interested in. Oh, there are boss fights too. To exceed culinary expectations. <laughs> Dave the Diver launches first it's for consoles cool. on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. The final wave is racing. I think in. I saw one thing from this. Peek at wave six, the final wave Not 100% though. Booster course <laughs> that that fucking guy just Mario slammed in that bush. More returning characters are also being added in wave six. Diddy Kong. Nice. Kong. Nice. From Mario Kart Funky Con. Pauline, game, okay. Pauline. Why that model? Why not like the newer, nicer and model? Peach, Peach Chet. Okay. That's a little odd, but okay. No Nabbit. I'm a little sad that we didn't get Nabbit. I won't lie. There was a lot hinting that he was going to be in this and I would main him. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. Yeah. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Woo. Oh, my God, so. oh is among I us. did see this because I didn't think about it being part of the direct. This looks cool. It's been what, like two years, year and a half? Since we had a map update, this looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like this map looks really cool, and like the stuff that you can do in it looks sick. The fungal. That lo it looks. This it looks cool. Among us is free and launches this October. I'd hope it'd be free. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us this far. Ah, uh, so I got Next spoiled up, on the. We'd like to recap oh. some of the previously announced oh, Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Mario Wonder. Oh, want want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah! I'm so excited for this game. Yes, this looks fun. This is great. Pretty pretty cool. Don't like that they're using the old fucking Wii era Pauline. This I'm actually pretty excited for. This too. No. This swag. I am so excited for this. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. 
This next video will be our last announcement. So I did get spelled on the big thing of the th I'm ready to see it though. Okay. Yeah! Oh, it looks good. The text, it's like Banjo Kazooie. Not Banjo Kazooie, um. Mario and Luigi. Why did why did I say Banjo Kazooie? It's like the Mario Luigi. But the like they're making the noises. I have never gone to play this game. So I am pretty excited about this because I'll finally get to play it. Bring back Trans Vivian. Or whatever their name is. That's how I learned that this was happening. I saw one of my mutuals tweet. It. Oh, it looks so good. The Mario RPG like fan base is is coming back. We're getting the original Ar Mario RPG coming back. We're getting a remake of, like, the best Paper Mario game. Like... What is this? I don't... Oh, wait, yeah, there are Bowser missions in the game, aren't there? I don't... Like I said, I've never played the game. I... Big. <laughs> Mario. Should be called recrafted. That would be really cool. <laughs> Paper Mario recrafted. New content or another peach message as well. Paper Mario, the thousand year door, originally I just wish I didn't get spelled on that. Oh my god. It looks so good. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Alright. All right, all right, all right. Well, pretty cool. Um, couple of stinkers, of course, shit that I just do not care about. But other than that, you know, that was a pretty good direct. Like, honestly, I'm excited for most of the stuff they they showed there. Um, God, excitement. <laughs> I'm so excited for Wonder and Luigi's Mansion 2. They're actually calling it that. <laughs> that's that's sweet. Huh. All right. Huh. All right. Well, I don't really have any else to thing like anything else to say. That was that was pretty cool. I, and I um. Excited for most of the stuff they showed. Some stuff was was like, man, that looks okay. And then, it's got your stinkers, <laughs> of course. No real, I mean, I guess the one game was a farming sim. But no, like, crazy farming sim. Like, overload, you know? Well, alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, because I don't got anything else to really say about it, you know? Um, check out the Glorpal guy thing. Uh, I'll try and put a, it in the, like, little end thing, uh, because, you know, it's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> but, yeah. Love you guys so much. So, so much. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in whatever is next. Bye, guys!
Love ya. Remember to like and subscribe. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>